I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. Here at the Hustle Stats for the Pistons. They've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggressiveness. They've been the disruptors defensively, coming up with a lot of steals that have had an impact on the flow of the game. Rodman, he's checked in for Thomas. The Hawks making a switch here. Second free throw, no good. Even though he didn't get all of them, they'll be able to breathe a little easier with the two-possession lead now. Here's Wilkins. Detroit with the rebound. Right side, Dumars. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Dumars got 19 points. An efficient score at all three levels. Dumars is especially confident for mid-range. Now the pass to Ogden. From the stripe, the basket good off the assist from Cheeks. Cheeks has got four assists now tonight. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Pass to Sellers. The Pistons working the ball around now. Four on the shot clock. From deep, Thomas. He's off on that one. And the shooter had really no airspace to get that shot off. That's good deep. Yeah, terrific defense. Doing a great job contesting without foul. They knew who to go to in the big moment. Wilkins is a trusted scorer on this spot. And here's Thomas who brings it up for Detroit. A two-point game. Now, here's Dumas. Not a lot of room, and it's in there. Dumars got six in the quarter. Well, Dumars has no problem stepping up for his team. He's always ready to drop a shot. Pass to Ogman. Over Dumars. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Thomas against Cheeks. Passes it to Sellers. Outside Thomas. The pass to Sellers. Lambeer for three. Rebound by the Hawks. Wilkins surveying the defense. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Detroit's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Thomas. Yes! With everything on the line, cash money right there. Well, if he's feeling the pressure, he's not showing it. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're down by four. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Pistons making a change here. Sally's checked in. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, guys. Well, the Hawks coach had some words for his team during the last timeout. He wouldn't know they were down from what he was talking about. He was positive with the team. He was calm. He said he wanted to keep them focused. It's a pretty good approach, guys. Back to you. Thank you, David. Atlanta calls timeout. They're behind by four. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Cheeks outside. Wilkins against Rodman. 35 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. Here's Ogman. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Game in the balance. This team wants Isaiah Thomas at the line. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. And those free throws now make this a two-possession game. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Wilkins, the pass to Chiefs. Back to Wilkins. To the left wing. Takes the three. Sheik's no good. And now they foul and stop the clock. They want to extend this game. That's why they did what they did there. Yeah, so they had to foul there. Need a little luck now. Dennis Rodman. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. Only five foot eleven in high school. Robin didn't even make the varsity basketball team. Quite the story for the now six foot seven defense and rebounding specialist. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Out to the wing. Outside Howard. Off the mark. And so the Pistons take the win. It was tight there at the end, but they were able to give this crowd what they wanted. Kevin, I do think the crowd helped make it happen. I mean, in a close game, the fan support can be a real difference maker. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our reporter, David Aldridge, Unger Clark Kellogg, and Mike.